Uh, I'm really suffering. Proteins, fats, and carbohydrates provide us with our energy. But it's the mystery surrounding the fourth energy source that I want to get to the bottom of. The Tour de France, 2019. Half the riders were reportedly taking ketones. They are being used alongside carbohydrates. This is a big thing in cycling, but nobody's talking about it. So why the secrecy? Are they really giving athletes that much of a competitive advantage? The only way to really consume ketones would be to take some form of supplement. Normally, you wouldn't do that. They're produced in your liver, generally in response to a starvation situation. The athletes never produce ketones. You might be able to use them to provide extra energy. I've enlisted the help of an ex-professional to try and put ketones to the test. Three, two, one. I have no doubt that ketones can improve performance. Wow, what a difference. What's a little more controversial is whether that's actually performance enhancing. There are a lot of side effects, nausea, and vomiting. Oh. Ketones will suppress your appetite. I certainly don't feel like eating the cheese sandwich that Connor does right now. As soon as we start talking about nutritional supplements, there is a placebo effect. I feel like I had a lot more energy than before I took that drink. I certainly think ketones have a place in any endurance sport that lasts more than about four or five hours. Flying. Certainly in recovery, we are 200% sure that it works. Ketones may be compliant with the World Anti-Doping Agency, but should it be something that professional riders are using? 